One of the most common species of uh, bonsai are the ficus retusa or Chinese banyan, as it's, uh, it's called. And, and one of the reasons, of course, why it's so popular is because they imported or they exported on mm, mass from from China. Uh, and the ficus retusa have quite stunning uh, specimens of, uh, of them. Uh, I, for one, have quite an old, old one, and it's one of my favorite trees. Uh, you'll see pictures of it uh, in, in the clips later on. Uh, this particular one was given to me by a, by an internet uh, friend, um, and uh, uh, it's been cherished for, for a while. It's the, the root is rather nice and stumpy. It has uh, a nice uh, set of uh, little aerial roots, uh, which uh, uh, which uh, which form mm, uh, a quite a nice feature of uh, the tree. They're, they're very much like the the English uh, the Indian banyan. Uh, in fact, uh, it's it's also native to to India. Uh, it's often called the Indian laurel, uh, uh, but uh, it, it has a wide, wide area of, of, of growth. While it is native to India, it is not as common as, as the, the banyan tree or even ficus religiosa. Uh, the ficus retusa or the banyan ficus, Chinese banyan, has nice, obtuse, waxy leaves and uh, um, they, they in, in nature are quite large, in fact, extremely large, uh, but they do reduce quite well. And of course, the secret to having smaller leaves, as I've said often before, is to have more and more branches on them. And uh, you increase the ramification of Ficus retusa by pruning back um, quite regularly. On, on the spe on the species, and of course you always come back to three, leaving three nodes. Uh, I, I, if you look at some of my other videos on pruning, you understand why I talk about uh, pruning back to three nodes. But mm, the ficus retusa responds extremely well to pruning. In fact, the more you prune it. Uh, better it responds um, and if if for some reason the trees don't stagnant uh, pruning it actually kicks it back into into action it likes a lot of water try not to let it dry out because it will drop all its leaves it's finicky to changes in in, in its situation so if you move it around you likely to upset the tree so find a bright spot for it because it, the ficus retusa loves its uh, its light. All ficus love their light, uh, but they can cope with quite low lights too. The retusa, for example, can go down to 400 lux, which no other tree, most other trees, will will give up uh, uh, long before that. Above 4,000 lux, and it really, really comes comes into its own. Uh, they are used to growing in, in full sun, uh, but uh, when the seed is sown, or when the seed is sown in nature, it usually lands in in bulb, uh, bark, and in in branches, and that's where the seed will settle and then grow. From uh, from that branch, yeah, from that bulb, it will send down long roots that will follow the trunk down to the to the ground. <clears throat> and it will grow very, very slowly till at the time that there is not enough light for it because in the boughs so it's hidden uh, by the uh, huge cloud, uh, huge crown of the tree that it's, uh, it's, host, it's hosted in and uh, it will wait for any moment in the light. As soon as the light is available for it, it will run. And it grows the best, of course, when it's high humidity, lots of rain, lots of water. Uh, it just takes off. So, if temperatures are above 60 degrees, I find this thing continuously grows. Uh, so it, you can see at the moment, even now, 
it's it's growing. And the conservatory where I grow this is common, is often going down to 6 degrees and less uh, in, in the night, especially during the winter time. Uh, it doesn't seem to mind it. Having said that, if I leave it outside and uh, frost lands on it, all the leaves just fall right off. They, they burn and they fall right off and, and attack. And I've lost a couple of trees because sometimes they just don't come back from, from the shock of, shock of uh, losing all their trees so suddenly. I think the cold, um, uh, the freezing tends to upset the branches more than anything else. Uh, and then they don't recover from, from that. Uh, I've seen it happen in in Pune, uh, where sometimes the temperature can drop quite low in the night, and uh, and the tops of the trees will turn absolutely black, and um, uh, and and the leaves from there just fall right off. Uh, but they do come back. They, uh, at least in in Pune, they do come back when temperatures rise quite fast, uh, and the branches will die away and then new shoots and branches will come from from where the old, where the older branches have survived. Um, they grow extremely well from cuttings, from air layers, uh, and uh, well, they're quite uh, uh, an exciting species because uh, with their ramification and with their, their leaf reducing, uh, they can get quite uh, uh, quite mature looking quite ra very rapidly uh, so in five to six years or six to eight years you should be able to get a decent size, decent looking bonsai uh, sometimes if you're lucky even a, a, a display grade uh, bonsai the ficus victorious Mexican ficus, uh, Mexican rock fig ficus. Uh, the leaves on the rock fig ficus can be quite huge. This particular one has gone from seed again. I got it off uh, somebody who's selling them as codex uh, plants, but it's a ficus, so mm, I had a few of them. But this is the only one that survived uh, while I'm figuring out how what condition it, it likes. Uh, it hasn't as yet shut up a long shoot like the the other ones do, and it will eventually do so, I guess. Uh, well, they tried to do it and then it died back. Uh, what we see, it looks <laughs> quite cute as it is anyway, so uh, we, shall, we shall see. Uh, the Mexican ficus, uh, as I was saying before, the, the ficuses are practically on the continents, and they're, they're quite profuse, and they, they seem to take all sorts of conditions. Uh, but in general, they seem to like the warmer areas. The ficus glomata, or gulil, perhaps as it's sometimes called, uh, it's a cluster ficus. Uh, this one is grown from the seed that was uh, sent to me. Uh, they're common in Deccan Plateau and in the warmer, drier parts of, uh, of, of India, for example. Uh, they grow very easily from seed uh, uh, and they grow very easily from cuttings. I've already taken a cutting and stuck it back in the same pot. It's, it's established, so uh, yes, they do go <laughs> quite easily from, from cuttings. Um, I let this go for a bit and then see how it uh, uh, develops. Uh, but the secret to all bandai work is, of course, patience and uh, letting the tree <laughs> get on with uh, doing its thing. I changed the spot size uh, as the tree size. Uh, well, so eventually you're going to go into something bigger, a bigger um, terracotta pot. Uh, the terracotta pots are the best pots for growing training trees. They they breed um, in the sense that water it will not water long, uh, and these things love water. So I just turn them in, in a humidity tray, and the pot always stays damp. Uh, and the the tree just ficuses just love them. So it's a great thing for growing uh, ficuses. Uh, <coughs> and the last of my, but not the least of my uh, ficuses, is the ficus uh, carica. 
or the turkey fig, or the brown fig. This is the fig uh, that we all know as the engine, uh, or, and the, the fig that, uh, that we commonly have as uh, dry fruit. Uh, and uh, it's, it goes well in the Mediterranean and it's one of the few figs that actually do well even in the cold. Uh, you can grow them outdoors in the UK and they come back year after year after year. Um, and uh, they go actually quite well out here in the UK, at least in the zone 8 areas, 8, 9 areas. Uh, colder than that, I'm not, not so sure they will uh, survive. Uh, but in, in the London area, they do very, very well. So, this particular one has been field grown, so it's been left to go uh, 20 feet tall and then come back. And then to go again and come back and then to go again and come back. So it's been around for quite quite a while. Uh, they, these are commonly imported from Spain, where they seem to be grown uh, profusely. Uh, and <laughs> this produces a lot, a lot of uh, fruit in, in summertime. And uh, <laughs> the fruits actually ripen on the tree. And uh, I enjoy eating them off the, off the, off the tree. So it's it's a tree of a lot of character. The leaves are huge. Uh, in fact, the leaves are almost power made to in, in nature. In fact, the only fact tree that I know that has this <coughs> palmetto shape to them. So this is the turkey fig or the ficus carica, uh, native to Turkey and the Mediterranean areas. <coughs> but now naturalized in a lot of uh, uh, the tropical, arid tropical areas where they grow for their fruit. Uh, so that's the ficus. That's only 10 or 12 species that I've listed out here. I've lost a few of them over the over the years, but uh, I think that's, I guess that's the challenge of learning uh, whether I can grow them or not uh, at, uh, in the UK. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, if you would like me to add another species or do another um, family of trees, do give me a shout. Uh, put it down in the comment, and I'll try and respond uh, as soon as I can. Um, do subscribe, um, there will be lots of new videos coming in, uh, and uh, like the video if you liked it. It helps me get more videos out to you, and also the message of getting bonsai to a larger crowd. Thank you, see you soon.